Dear students, welcome to Sheikh Mathematics classes. Now our discussion is profit and loss. In case of profit and loss, in last video, uh, video number two, uh, one technique is given, technique number one given. Now we consider another technique, technique number two. The technique two given, technique two, if eighth part of some item is sold at a at x percent loss then required gain percent in selling rest of the item in order that there is neither gain nor loss in whole transaction is a x by 1 minus a percent this is the formula if total number of item we have among these we uh, this item eight part some part sold already selling and at the rate of x percent loss now then the required gain percent in selling rest of the item of the item in order that there is neither gain nor loss in whole transaction now what should be we sell uh, there will be no neither uh, no gain or loss this formula is a x by 1 minus a this is our formula so one problem we consider a shopkeeper purchases some books from a publication or the rupees 750 some books purchased because of some reasons he said to sell two fifth part of the book at a loss of 15 percent so some books he purchased and two fifth part of the book at a loss of 15 percent he will sell on which gain he should sell his rest of the books so that he gets neither gain nor loss now remaining books how many percent he should sell then the uh, there will be no loss or gain so option given a 10 percent b 9 percent c 12 percent d 15 percent e 18 percent this is the option given now here what are given we using the technique here a given a equal to 2 by 5 and x given 15 percent this is x so gain percent equal to gain percent equal to a x by 1 minus a percent this is a formula so a means 2 by 5 and x means 15 by 1 minus 2 by 5 and this this cancel 2 into 3 by this is 5 5 minus 2 3 this is 3 by 5 and this will be ultimately 10 this becomes a numerator 3 3 cancel 5 2 is a 10 so 10 percent we get so this will be 10 percent if we calculate we get 10 percent so next part he should sell in 10 percent option a this is our correct option is the answer another problem we consider uh, same types of problem a medical store owner purchases medicines or rupees 6000 from a company he sold one third part of the medicine at 30 percent loss on which gain he should sell his rest of the medicine so that he has neither gain nor loss the option given 15 30, 20 10 30 this person given now we have to find this uh, here in shortcut formula we can use here a equal to one third and x equal to 30 percent this only two given now required gain 
required gain equal to gain percent equal to a x by 1 minus e percentage this is our formula now e a means 1 by 3 x means 30 this is 1 1 by 3 this is 10 and this will be 1 into 10 this is 3 1 2 2 by 3 and this is 10 into 3 by 2 this will be 15 so these two are cancelled we get 15 so answer is 15 percent we get so option a this is our correct option so remaining medicine he should sell uh, uh, at the rate of gain 15 percent then neither loss nor gain he will get so this is the formula in this formula we can easily solve this and calculation is by your practice we can shortcut with this 3 3 minus 1 2 2 by 3 3 becomes directly you can jump up this one we can do shortcutly but first we i show this how to solve this one this is the answer there are another types of problem the cost price of an item is two third of its selling price cost price given but selling price not given what is the gain or loss percent on that item the option given 45 percent 50 percent 35 percent 54 percent and e given none of this and it was said bank clerk 2010 now you consider this now first you have to see what are given the cost price of an item is two third of its selling price cost price given but selling price not given solution let sp equal to x cp equal to two third of selling price we get this so we get this one therefore gain equal to sp minus cp sp is x cp is 2 by 3x 3 is lcm 3x minus 2x this is x we get this this is our gain but our requirement gain or loss percent so we know this formula gain percent equal to gain by cp into 100 percent this is our formula gain percent equal to gain by cp into 100 percent gain just we get x by 3 and cp we know 2 by 3 x into 100 percent so x x cancel 3 3 cancel this will be 50 so this is if we cancelling by 2 then this is 50 so answer b option b is our answer so this is the correct option very easy solution our problem we consider a salesman expects a gain of 13 percent on his cost price if in a month his sale was 791.00 then what was his profit we have to find profit so what are given here here given gain percent given gain percent equal to 13 percent and sp given uh, sp given this is seven nine one zero 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 we have to find profit what is the profit so cp equal to we know this formula 100 into sp by 100 plus gain percent we know this formula so we don't know the here selling price given profit percent given but we don't know what was the cost price so 100 
into sp seven nine one triple zero hundred plus thirteen. This is one one three hundred into seven nine one triple zero. So if we cancelling this, this will be seven. And this is seven five zeros. Number of zero is five we get. So we get this is the CP, but our requirement is profit. This or CP. And SP also you know. What is the profit? Profit equal to selling price minus cost price. Profit equal to SP minus CP. SP uh, this one given seven nine one triple zero and this is seven five zeros and this will be nine one triple zero is the answer. So answer is this the profit is nine ninety one thousand. This is the option. Our correct answer, the option A. Option A, this is the correct answer. Just using this formula, formula given in first video, all of these are given. So I hope you are all enjoying with this type of problem. You are all enjoying, then please like this video. If you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.